Hey everybody, this is Brian. I wanted to share something brand new that I've never tried before. I'm going to shuck the hard drive out of this WD Elements 8 terabyte external hard drive to use in my own NAS. My NAS has seven drives in it. Six of them are 8 terabyte and one of them is 4 terabytes. So right now I'm basically not using half of my NAS and once I upgrade that 4 terabyte drive it'll use the full capacity of the remainder of the drives. Um, what is hard drive shucking? Uh, for reasons unknown to me, external USB hard drives tend to be cheaper than their internal components. I don't, I don't understand it. I don't get it. I'm guessing that it has to do with the fact that the warranties on these usually be, usually are a little bit shorter. And the other thing might be supply and demand, right? You've got everybody and their dog can plug in a USB hard drive into their computer and expand its storage. It takes a little bit more of a savvy user to upgrade their own hard drive. So the demand on these might be a little bit higher and there might be a, a higher supply for them and more competition. But other than that, I don't, I don't really understand. Uh, the drawbacks of shucking a hard drive like this is you don't really know what you're getting into. Um, it's kind of a it's kind of a lottery, a little bit. Uh, lots of people share their experiences, so you can go online and you can research a drive model and you can find out how difficult it is to to get into it and the kinds of hard drives that people are finding inside them. And it takes some of the guesswork out of it, but not necessarily all of it. And, you know, it's just kind of a, it's kind of a fun little lottery. Um, in this particular case, this was on sale for $130, which was considerably cheaper than what I was finding the eight terabyte drives other places. So I, I went ahead and, and took the gamble, watched a couple videos. It looks pretty easy to do. And I thought I'd do it here for you guys and see how it turns out. Let's let it rip. The, uh, I wound up watching a YouTube video. I'll put a link to that video in, in the description down below that kind of taught me how to do this. And the one, we're not quite there, but the one trick that that author or video creator shared with his viewers was to use a, a cut up gift card or a little plastic card as a kind of a holder so I will pass along that that good tip and here we go so there are I've got a little tiny flathead screwdriver Try and use these plastic bits. There's the clip. Well, there went one of them. It did its job real well. Probably goes without saying that I'm voiding the warranty on this by doing this. I'm probably making it. I'm not being especially delicate right now. Here, I'm going to replace that. Remember to cut towards yourself. That's a bad idea. Don't listen to that. And once you do that, 
guy should be able to just slide this out of there. And there we go. I'll get all my pieces of my gift card back. I'll save that for future use. All right, so here we have the the hard drive out of its initial shell, and it's just being held in there by these little rubber pieces. Um, this little, I guess it's a fiber optic for the fiber optic cable for the LEDs on the case. I'm just going to unhook it, and pull it out of there. It goes in my garbage. Garbage is the floor. Should be able to just squeeze this out of here. One direction or the other. And it goes that way. It's getting hung up. There we go. Now we have mostly shucked Western Digital 8 terabyte hard drive. And the last thing to do, let's see, we can look at some of the some of the particulars. This pretty much lines up with everything that I've been seeing online. This is an 8 terabyte. It's got the same it's got the same model number that people are attributing to the white label 8 terabyte red drives which are supposed to be ideal for a NAS like mine. I'm not too concerned about what type of hard drive it is. After all, I'm just after the I in RAID which is inexpensive. This RAID stands for Redundant Array of Inexpensive Discs. I'm very happy to use a drive that is 10, 20, 30 bucks cheaper and then apply that across all of my array and use that money that I saved to buy more hard drives to use for more redundancy or more storage. Sometimes both, depending on your configuration. So there is a screw here. Oh no, that's going to be a bummer. I've lost a bit. That should do the trick. Slide this guy off. Oops. Probably not going to need that. And there we go. There you have it. I shucked this drive. That was really easy. Um, in the past, I have told people when they've asked me why I don't shuck drives, I told some of them that at the time, the savings didn't really guarantee or didn't really to me, the cost benefit of it, the savings that I was getting didn't really warrant the loss of the warranty and the hassle of shucking the drive. Um, but now these are getting inexpensive enough that, and as this was easy enough, I would, I would be inclined to recommend it for people who have wanted to save a few dollars in building their own NAS. Um, I've written a blog about this. Also, please go check it out. It's in the description down below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this with all your friends. Thanks for tuning in.